everybody, welcome to Review Time. I'm your host, Islip, and it's getting cloudy in here. Uh, cloudy in here? Cloudy out here, because I'm outside. I said in here, see, I'm outside. In my backyard, in my backyard, use a natural light as the Lord intended it. And, uh, sorry guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. Today, I'm doing Transformers Combiner Wars Breakdown. And, um, easily, I can easily see a side swipe repaint. Very easily. The head, of, the shape of the head is close enough-ish. Um, it's close enough-ish. just needs to be repainted. Uh, body, you know, I, okay, maybe this doesn't become the front of the car, of the, the chest like it's supposed to. That's fine with me. But, uh, yeah. We have him. He's the only... He's the only limb bot to have a weapon that's that that's a gun. It's a gun and it's a, a blade, but you can clearly see it's some kind of a rifle. Um, and I like that. I wish the other ones had rifles, but I guess you could just take this part off and use it as a gun, which you can do. I just have it on the back just as for storage because he's got a gun. He doesn't need it. But um, again, you can, if you want to, use it as a gun. Uh, it looks silly to me, but, you know, and he doesn't have the the issues of the gun not fitting in properly, and, uh, well, the peg holes being too big like uh, Dead End does, so he holds his weapons pretty good. Um, head is on a ball joint, we're going to go right into it, because we've already seen most of the things, and I'm just close to whatever. So rotation, 360, he doesn't have a swivel like all the other ones do, he has a ball jointed forearm so that provides the swivel that you need um, again rotates at the groin bends at the knee and he has a case of hollow leg but hey what you gonna do it's still pretty cool and his legs um, are weird like they're on this weird thing that oh okay I've actually had his had a mistransform there we go there we go. All right. Now he's transformed correctly. Whoops. Now he's transformed correctly. His little butt peg is spread out the way it's supposed to be. So yeah. Um, back to back to it. Rotates here. Bends here. Has a rotation right up here, but it it's very hard to do. He bends at the knee. He's got toe tibet pivot due to transformation, and you can, if you want to, swing his leg in like that due to transformation. So, you know the drill. Vehicle mode and then limb mode because he's going to be an arm. So, uh, pop this out and bring his arms down at the shoulder so it'll help release this up. And then we are going to fold it like so and we'll just leave that for now and wow it's really getting cloudy outside and dark but um, we're gonna take what are we gonna do next uh, we're going to collapse these back up I believe yeah we're gonna there we go no, we're not. We're going to collapse them all the way down. There we go. And do the same thing here. Bring the shoulder all the way down. Collapse the arm in. And I'm probably doing this in the wrong order. Yeah. Um. Oh. Fold these up. That's why it's not working. Fold fold his arms up. I keep forgetting. That's why he's got the ball joint where it's at. It's to do the double arm bend thing. You can plug this in the way it's supposed to. And this goes in like this. Right? I thought it went in like that. Come on. You stupid piece of crap. Oh, do that, and, oh, wait, I think we're supposed to turn his head around, I think that gives the, the proper clearance, come on, come on, let's do this, let's do 
this. Come on. There we go. Yep, that that was right. I had the. You have to turn the head facing in, and then you can put this in, and it goes in flat. Collapse that down. You've got the front end of the car done. You're going to come over here, and you're going to. Ouch! Not hurt yourself. Bring this. Bring this around and up. Legs are straight like this. You're going to collapse it in and not hurt yourself like I just did. And there is a double, double thing there. Yeah, that was technical. I slipped. That was technical. So you're going to you're going to get frustrated because this thing doesn't want to fold up the feet. Ah, okay. You know what? Let's let's unpeg this part first. Let's take care of the feet first. That'll probably actually work better because we'll be able to open open the arms up just a wee bit. Let's spread the arms first. I think I know what I did wrong. Spread the arms first. Slide that in. And slide that. Yep, slide that down. Whoops. Almost had it. Okay. And let's try sliding that in now. Yep, it slides in. I was fighting with this the other day before I realized that. See, there's, there is a notch here and it slides in instead of pushes in. So, get you all lined up. Slide you in. Yep. Push the tail part together. For some reason, mine doesn't want to stay together. And get all that lined up. And uh, there we fairly pretty much have a Lamborghini. It looks like a Lamborghini. It looks like a stylized Lamborghini, but Lamborghini nonetheless. It does roll ish. does roll-ish. The wheels do, well, I don't know, it's catching on something. What are you catching on? I don't know what it's catching. It's catching on, I don't know, it's catching on itself. I don't know what it's catching on because there's nothing there. Whatever, but it turns into the Lamborghini. You've got weapons. You can, if you want to, place that up there like so, which looks dumb. Um, you can place it on the back end which looks a little better but it still looks dumb and then you can put this up here if you want to so you can have you know his little guns from when he was a G1 vehicle even though it's supposed to attach back here whatever so you got that turn them into a foot uh, actually you shouldn't have popped that off leave that popped there we're going to open this part Remember to open this part first and then just flip that down and flip that out. Plug this in. Plug this in. No, actually you're not. You're going to... No, no, you're right. Yeah, you're just going to plug this in like so. And you have your foot. Now you can put it this way, or if you want to, you can turn it around this way so it looks more G1-ish, but then there's all this open area, so yeah, it's better this way. And again, if you want to, you can leave this up so that it covers the combiner thing a little bit more if you want to. But again, I use him as an arm, so we're going to pull the peg out here. We're going to take this, and we're going to close it back together sort of we just don't want to peg that all together but we want to get it like this and then we are going to pull this off and uh, actually we do have to re it's getting chilly move this like this so we can pop the arms out really now they don't want to pop out Okay, there we go. Ooh, dinner smart and smell good. So, bring this out, fold this down, fold this, fold the feet out, because that's going to give us the extra 
bit we need to make the hand be the way it's supposed to be. Let's see, we're going to have him have, have him be a left hand. Oops, got to pull this out first. I forget. Fingers out first, and then we can do this. And put his arms back the way they were. Then we can fold this up a bit, but we don't want we don't want to lock it this way if we we don't want to lock it this way if we need to we can move it but um and then we've got an arm and then because of the way he bends we can have his arm just stay like this and bend at the elbow which is something we can't do with any of the other stunticons so i wonder why they didn't just build something like this for the other ones um or you can just turn it and have the bend like normal which is probably what we're going to do so, yeah. And then you can just take the weapon and... Actually, you can't really store it anywhere. But it becomes a pretty nice sort of bowie knife kind of thing. So, yeah. So, my slip. And I like this figure. Uh, again, I do like the Combiner Wars figures. Uh, he's a little more problematic than the other ones, I think. But I still like him. And he would actually be a pretty good repaint. I can definitely see him as as a side swipe. Definitely see him as a side swipe. So, um, I'm eye slip and that's it. I'm done.